In this video, I will guide you through resolving the media offline error in DaVinci Resolve. We all encounter the frustrating issue with the alarming dark red background and warning sign. It can cause a little bit of panic, especially after spending hours of editing. But don't worry, once you know the steps, it's actually pretty simple to resolve and get everything back to normal. Let's get started. The most common reason for the media offline error is when you moved a file to another folder. For example, if you import a file into DaVinci Resolve from a specific folder and then later move that file or change its name for a better organization, DaVinci can't find it anymore because it has disappeared from the original location. To fix this, you need to relink your file showing DaVinci where it is now located. In the edit or cut pages, go to the top left of DaVinci Resolve and click the chain icon labeled Relink Media. In the window that appears, you have two options. Locate, if you know where the file is, click Locate. Find a new location and press Open. This should resolve the media offline error. And the second one is Disk Search. If you can't find the file manually, use Disk Search for more in-depth search on your computer hard drive. But this might take some time if you have a lot of files. But it should eventually locate your missing file. Cause 2. Accidentally deleting a file from a media pool. Another common cause is accidentally deleting a file from your media pool. If you have many files and accidentally press backspace, causing a file to be removed, this will result in a media offline error in your timeline. To fix this, you need to re-import the file into the media pool. Re-importing the file, unlike the first method, you can't use the relink media button because it will show zero missing clips. Instead, you need to do it manually importing the file. First thing, use the shortcut Command plus I on Mac or Control plus I on PC. Locate the missing file, press Open and it will be restored in your media pool, resolving the issue. And there you have it. By following those steps, you can easily find the media offline error and continue your editing without any issue.